Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to boot into Linux on your Mac or Windows using only your HTC One. Now we're going to be doing this by installing DriveDroid from the Play Store. So go ahead and open up that app and download it. Now that it's finished downloading, open it up, and the first time you open it, you're going to have to set it up. So go ahead and tap the Setup button, then Proceed, Acquire Root. After you've done that, just go ahead and tap I plugged in the USB cable. You don't really have to. Just tap proceed again and then select function switch in Android kernel. That'll patch your kernel to make it accessible to your computer to boot from. After that, just tap I see a CD drive proceed and then go ahead and tap proceed one more time. Scroll down at the bottom and close the wizard. Alright, now I've already downloaded Linux Mint, but if you want to get a different Linux distro, go ahead and tap the plus button on the bottom, then download image, and select whichever one you want. Be sure to check to see if your computer is a 32 or 64 bit, in case most of these versions of Linux come in both of those. After the download is finished, go ahead and refresh your list. It'll search your storage for any ISOs. And after that, go ahead and select the one you want to mount. Now you're going to need to shut off your computer and plug your HTC one in. And now you're going to have to restart your computer in advanced reboot mode. If you're doing that on a Mac, you're going to want to hold down the option key as you press the power button. And if you're doing it on a Windows, the most easy way to do it would be to tap F12 as your computer restarts. But if that doesn't work, you're going to need to go into your BIOS and enable that option manually. And after you do that, go over to the CD that appears, hit enter, and it'll start to boot from that device. All right, so now you should be booted up into Linux Mint or whichever other Linux to show you use for this tutorial. Be sure to also enable your Wi-Fi because that setting does not carry over from your main operating system. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.